what's up guys today we are going to install the uh, racing shifter and this is actually uh, sh chassis mounted so it doesn't it doesn't have one of those uh, parts we're gonna lift a clip take the shifter out of there with the whole mount and the whole thing and then we're gonna mount this one uh, on the bottom so let's go into the car I'm gonna show you what I mean okay so first inside the car uh, so all of this here this thing here uh, this part there's bushings down there it's all gonna come off be sure that the car is secure properly then here uh, up here somewhere let me see if I can touch it usually uh, you gotta drop the engine mount but because this is a, a 2JZ you know and some other modifications I'm not gonna do that um, I can see the clip is that that this part here let me touch with the screwdriver sorry if it's shaking because I'm holding this thing here is gonna come out and there's a little clip in here usually if you have a BMW you gotta take the heat shield exhaust and a bunch of other stuff that's around here um, in my case everything is out so I just need to move that thing up uh, and this see this little thing in here this is gonna come out that way all right so I've tried to take that out uh, with the transmission mounting here it wasn't possible so I'll need to remove this thing here um, I think it was a 12 millimeter so I'm gonna lower this a little bit and see if I can reach the top of it with the screwdriver and pull it out There you go. That's the pin right here. I thought I was recording, but apparently it wasn't. Uh, I got it out. Woo. So that's how it looks like. Oh, Ooh, I thought it was a transmission falling in my face. So uh, let me show you. Whoa! Scared the crap out of me. <sighs> all right so this is the pin and this goes up there pin goes in the middle and then goes up uh, and clicks on a part up there like this so our mission was to lift it up but you can lift it up just uh, pushing it there is a little tab in here you see on the bottom and this doesn't come out if you don't put a screwdriver in here which is going to expand this a little bit and then it's going to pop out so uh, what we did was uh, we put the little the little screwdriver on the back and then um, it pried out with the tire bar so yeah what happens here is this is how it works uh, this is mounted to the chassis. This is mounted to the transmission. This this thing here does nothing, right? And this here is what connects to the actual um, shifting shift. I don't know shift shaft that goes to the transmission. So as you move this, uh, this moves this part here, and then this actually does first, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse, and all that stuff going forward we got a new one which is no different right so if you see the bottom part is exactly the same so you have here goes to the car and then this plugs into the gear shaft and you know first second same same exact thing the difference is this here mounts to the chassis straight to the chassis right so the feel it's gonna be this here, it's gonna be short. So it's like when I put first gear, it's gonna be this, first, second, quick. 
This here on the other hand, you need to move like way more in order to get first, second, in order to move just a little bit. On the other hand, what is the advantage of having this, right? This advantage is it's gonna get a little harder, but I mean, this is a, a race car and I like this feel to be honest. But look at how much stuff here we need to replace. There is a rubber here. There's this ball here, gotta be lubed. This part here, which I replaced last time, I opened and replaced the clutch. Then there's this bushing in here. So, so much stuff. And you know, with this here, we not just don't need any of this, but also move my shift forward just a tiny bit. So it's gonna help me out and now, of course, I need to put the uh, mount back in the car, but this is what we're gonna do. I expand this hole here uh, a little few days ago. This is your hole, hole. And yeah, so what I will do now is I'll take those bolts. This is a, a plate that's gonna make a sandwich. So this sandwich goes of course it's gonna sandwich so if i put this in here let's go to the bottom of the car and see how it looks look at that so i still need to go back a little bit um this is not matching unless i mean i could i could remove this here and cut it yep i could totally do that I can remove this here, cut it short, and my shift is going to stay on the same spot. So I need to be sure that this here is in the center, and I'm going to get the center in here, and I know where how much I need to cut so I gotta cut like this much here I'm gonna get a pan uh, I'm gonna cut and weld I don't foresee any problem here it's just gonna be straightforward I'm gonna remove this in here it's just a little tab um, yeah. and we are out all right this is what I did I cut a part that is going to be uh, it's going to be straight so instead of getting like the short side I just did got this side here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the lines I got and this is where this is supposed to be right and so if this is supposed to be there I got to cut in here <clears throat> and I'm gonna weld in there all right that's the final product I could grind here, make it a little prettier, but um, it is midnight, so can't do that noise right now. Uh, I gotta go inside the car now. It's an Allen wrench on the top, and I believe it's a 13 millimeter on the bottom. So I gotta hold the top with an Allen wrench, which I'm gonna leave in there and see what <laughs> happens. Uh, be a little creative and uh yeah and see what i can do let's go so put it in there and start putting the bolts in okay so now i mean i have this extra hole in here <laughs> which I can use to try and screw one of them otherwise I'll need another person 
Okay, so the link is in place. What I need to do now is measure uh, where this is straight. So I'm gonna put it in the center and this is straight right here. That looks great. So I am going to go down there again. Um, So one thing I'm going to do now is test real quick. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Oh, fifth. Oh, it's short. Yes. And so the reverse. Oh, there we go. It kind of. There you go, that's reverse, reverse. Nice. All right guys, so that's it. Old one here on the floor. Um, sorry, my hand is right there. So the old one, uh, the new one right there. The good thing is um, the new one it's a little bit taller also and what happens is when I'm driving and I have my hand on the steering wheel this is quicker for me to just engage the gears and oh that's perfect third fourth fifth first second of course I'm not pressing the clutch third fourth and the reverse you just force a little bit and boom i was concerned about the reverse because uh i didn't see this pushing and i was like Ooh. Uh, anyway this is a ebay uh, a racing shifter it's a chassis mount mounted uh shifter it would work on the same hole that the bmw had in here but i jumped the gun before and I end up cutting this. So, I mean, I cut the I cut the linkage anyway. So uh, this thing would uh, would work regardless for me. Um, I am sure they sell a uh, short shifter those linkage things that I just cut and welded. But you know, I this virus and the dates and stuff. I I just can't wait for shipping anymore so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope uh you're gonna check out when i drive this so you see how it feels how it looks like uh so far so good uh so yeah don't forget to subscribe so please subscribe to my channel a lot to come i put a lot of effort in this car this is gonna be a beast and i hope you enjoy it leave that little like button make a little comment Check out my website www.carmodsgarage.com and I'll see you on the next video.